but we also love to fish, so we're gonna get out here for, we'll have a good chunk of time, five or six hours, and we'll see if we can get on some more, but stay tuned for another awesome day on the ice. Morning. 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 Right. Awesome. You guys ready for an awesome day? Yeah, we're pumped. Got up an hour earlier than Same anticipated. Year. <laughs> yeah, it gets me every single year. Oh, I hate that. And yeah. we could have used that extra hour this morning. Oh, <laughs> we're yeah. Like, we're dead to the world. Yeah, I know the feeling. See Just setting up. This is the. Got four traps in. First flag of the morning. I don't think it's a real flag. But... Probably a big flag. Haven't put my rubber band on this one yet, which helps add some resistance to the flag trip when you're dealing with bigger pike bait. Oh, there's the, there's the leader right there. I don't know. What? <laughs> okay. Come on. Eat something like twice Look. <laughs> half your size, why don't you? Look at that. Oh my gosh. We got to try to save that china. Yeah. No free meals. You got some pork and corn. Ooh. There we go. There's a little run. Yeah. Nice run. Oh. That's a pretty cool shot with the sun back there too. There Took some line in a short amount of time. Look at that form. <laughs> hand over hand. Hand over hand. Oh, oh nice. Nice. Big one. That's Lou. nice one. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> But for the most part, yeah, I just, uh, ooh, there we go. good. All right, that might have some teeth. Eight o'clock, is that what you said it was, Chris? Time wise, eight yesterday, seven. Ooh, ooh it looks like it. Yeah. You hit something there. He's liking it. Feels pretty good. Huh? Uh, oh, some head shaking going on. A lot of weeds. He got his head oh, God, good. careful. Big bass. Yeah. Oh, yeah, nice, nice bass. Like that one. <laughs> some meat there, bud. Oh, yeah, cool. Look at that beautiful fish. Nice one. You guys look alike. <laughs> what, the beautiful eyes? Yeah. <laughs> oh, we got another one. All right, good fish, bud. Beautiful fish. Another big largey. Yes. Nice largey. Sick. Oh, what we got here, Chris? Oh, it's a pike. It's oh, pike. nice. It's oh, actually big one. not a bad one. Big one. <laughs> That's a good big one. one. Yeah, 10 maybe? Yeah. 9 or 10? Big one. I'll give you a hand landing it. Just keep, cool. keep doing exactly what you're doing. You're doing a great job fighting it. Nursing it to the yeah. hole here. Yep, the key is just get their nose in the hole and then they're caught. Oh, it's oh. a big one. Yeah. Just That's like big yesterday? One. Bigger. Well, okay. backstory on this flag, I was uh, reeling one of my uh, lines up there. And, and I was nursing told, a nosebleed and now we have a fish. So. Yeah, and I told Liv to get it and it's a nice one. You're doing a great job on it. Just keep doing Thank exactly you. how you're doing it. Ooh, ooh. Nope, good job. Good, good, good job. Yeah, let him go. You're wearing him out. Oh, we've made eye contact yeah. like twice. He looked you dead okay. square in the eye. Okay. Nice. Oh, oh nice. Oh, nice. Yeah, he's dead. Yeah. Yeah. He might not be nice. as big as yesterday. Yeah. Nice. nice work. Thank you. All right. <laughs> that is a big cool. fish. Nice. The size of that fish. That's awesome. I never can get over just the, how. Look at that. Wow, what a beauty. That's in the 10 range. He might be nine. Some good pictures. First hike of the morning. Wow, does he have that hook buried? Yep, uh, you can get it if you just hold up a little bit. I can get the hook out for you. Not sure which way. There you go. Yeah, See, that was easy. easy as that. With the right tools. I think we're retying that. Get a yeah. close up on those teeth right there. Some chompers. <laughs> oh. All right, let's get a scale on them. What are you guys thinking? Yeah. Just about oh. nine, eight pounds, 15. It's cool. That's That's a cool shot. Sick. Nine pounds. All right, down he goes. Good job. Yeah, that was a good release, dude. Yeah, that was good. Nice fish, Liv. What are you thinking? I 
and thinking we were off to a good start. Yes. <laughs> That's the way to start it. So northern pike are fish that is like highly sought after game fish in Maine. They get a really bad rap because the department, the state department, looks at them like a trash fish, yeah. like an invasive. invasive species. Acts like they just came around and they've been here for a lot longer than most of you probably think. Yeah, at least 1970, they started finding them in the Belgrade Lakes and there's talk that maybe the state even put them in. So think about that for a sec, depending on how old you are. They've been here 50 years. I don't know how long you've been here, but that's way longer than I've been here. So they've been here longer than I am. So I'm not gonna get high on my horse and say, oh, these things are trash fish that just got here. I love catching them. And, and honestly, the state of Maine does. That's how you get four to 5,000 people on the ice for Sabatis Derby. I mean, it's unbelievable. I don't know if any of you ever seen that. I think you have an older video yeah. where you were at the Sabatis Derby and it's just covered. I mean, it's unbelievable. And brings people in, brings people to the state that maybe are out of staters too to come catch these awesome fish. Yeah. Mesolonski, the boat launch is like a mile deep every weekend and yep. and Cobbacy Lake and the Belgrade. And it's really helping drive the winter economy too. There's so many people that want to go catch not only a lot of fish, but they want to catch something big. To have a chance at a 20 to 30 pounder, even a 15 pounder, you just don't get that chance with, with our trout in other states or provinces. No. So that's, I think, what part of the popularity is. And, and they're really fun to catch. So we try to treat the fish with a lot of respect and release them if we're not going to eat them and free them to, to get them another day so as far as i'm concerned just want to manage that fishery the best we can and keep that thrill of catching a 20 30 pound fish going because i'll tell you what if you've never done it get out there and do it it's once in a lifetime and it's i'm hooked live and i are hooked <laughs> and joe's hooked and that's oh, why we're here it. it's my favorite fish to catch you gotta get you on there i think it's, it might just be the bait yeah it might be bait doesn't feel like much that's what happens when you see a 20 pound pike your eyes He's pop like, out of your head dang yeah, he's bleeding from the side. Some stuff. Oh. <laughs> the official 15 traps in the water, just minutes before nine o'clock. Had to split up to do it. Yeah, divide and conquer. All right, use this as a warm up, Chris, because I think you're going to catch a giant pike oh. in about a minute. Feels like something. Oh, right there. Yeah. Bing. <laughs> did you hear that one? I did, I yeah. Did <laughs> Bing. Nice. Cool. Two high flyers. Oh, wow. And right behind you too, Chris. Really? <laughs> yeah. Went up in seconds. That's almost out of line. I think this is his friend. Another bass or yeah. a big one? Feels like a bass. The one that we just retied is up. Ooh. There you go. Yeah. Oh, oh, that's a nice, nice, one. nice bass. Man, there are some big bass. <laughs> just the nice quality fish. of fishing. Oh, yeah. just healthy. That's awesome. Sweet. Good one. How's the hook situation? Nice. This could be good. Yeah, I'd try it. He stopped. Got high hopes for this flag. Got a lot of head shaking going on. So, pike? Yep. Oh. What, like a six pounder or something? Looks maybe four. Oh, okay. Yeah. I didn't get a good look at him. What do you think? Yeah, maybe four. Looks kind of zippy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, he's, he's not bad. Not bad. No, no, he's yeah. long. Yeah, good call. Yeah. Nice. Pretty one. Dude, look how pretty those fins are. Get a nice close up. I love that tail. Sweet. First one of the day. Two pikes on the ice. Oh, yeah. Two pikes. Yeah. People say pikes. I think no. it's just pike. <laughs> <laughs> Two pikes is. <laughs> <laughs> That'll make them. Uh, <laughs> oh, what an idiot. <laughs> Look at those mooses. Look at the meese. So, today, guys, we are warm water species fishing for northern pike, largemouth bass, pickerel. We're primarily going for the pike. The other ones are bycatches or inadvertent catches. You want to be geared up when you come for these pikes. So you want to use like a, at least a three and a half or four inch spool, fill it up with line because when you get a big one, they make great big long runs before you even get there and then as you're fighting them they can take everything back and more so make sure your line's good i either use like a heavy 40 pound fluorocarbon or a wire leader this is a 30 pound wire leader 
and I make those myself. Anybody can do them. You just buy your crimps and throw a swivel on one end and a hook on the other. And then for hooks, I prefer the octopus hooks. This is like the smallest bait we've used yet. But most of the, like this is a five aught. So I'll run from like a two aught to a five aught octopus. And the most important part of those is that you have a strong shank so it doesn't break on the fish. Cause we're looking for like 20 pound plus fish. Whether we catch them or not, that's a different story. But you always want to be prepared if one bites. So that's the gear we're using. There's a there's always talk about whether you should use fluorocarbon or wire. I've always been fluorocarbon in the past, but I'm just coming back from a musky trip where one of them went through my fluorocarbon like a hot knife through butter. So I switched over for that trip and I said, you know what, I'll just keep these on. And we're not seeing much of a difference. And the water is clear here because we're fishing amongst a lot of weeds. For the most part, I don't know. I, I do lean towards fluorocarbon for the most part. Today I am fishing the wire. And the wire is nice because you can manhandle them a little bit more around the hole without the fear of breaking off. <laughs> Short line them. Oh. Alrighty. Well, that's Four. one way to do it. Yeah. Who needs a jack? I'm in the uh, jaw jacker. Yeah. Hike number two for nice. Liv. Three Good on one. the ice. Good one. Okay. Good one. Ready? Yep. See you later. Oh. Oh. Jeez. Oh. He picked it up on my way in. I don't think, because I said, unless he was like ran out of the hole and swam back, it was like no line out. Nice do. one, Chris. Man, Another big so bass, probably here. just under four. Heavy three change. Yeah. Nice. Maybe four. Oh. Chris just picked this up and then sent it. Is he there? Another big bass. And there he goes, he's off. Just like that. Catch a release. That was crazy. Did you get that one? Yeah, I got it. Oh, man. Yep. Oh, oh. <laughs> man, you were catching some swans. Yeah, those are big. Those are big. Wow. There's some serious bass in here. You go. Might be a bass. Nothing huge. Bass. Bass. Man, oh, man. bass on bass on bass. So we've been fortunate enough to fish two days in a row with Mr. Joe Holland here. What's your channel all about? I know we have very similar interests, which is why we've hit it off so well. Yes, so my channel is primarily ice fishing now, mostly trips and stuff like that. The key to my channel is I've made it so one, I can inspire people to do the same stuff that I'm doing or even start their own channel or go on wilderness trips or camping trips or fishing just to get out and ice fish and get outside. The second most important thing on my channel is, is to educate and teach people how to do the stuff that I'm doing. I've got a lot of years of experience and a lot of really cool people have helped me over the years so I like to pass that along and then the, the last part is the entertainment part you know so you're gonna get one of the three things from my channel on every video. The way I look at the videos is if it's a really good one, you hopefully you get all three. Inspire, educate, and entertain. Not always gonna catch them, not always gonna hammer them, but it's gonna be fun no matter what. That's the reality of it. I think we, over this course of the weekend, we've definitely experienced all three. <laughs> we've been cool. beneficiaries of the education portion, like, and we're so thankful for that. Favorite part of this weekend so far? Any highlights that stand so out? So far, your pike, <laughs> your bass, yeah. and his pike that hasn't happened yet. Yeah. <laughs> Those are my favorite three things. Awesome, I like yeah. it. Well, let's see if we can squeeze one out here within the next few hours. Nice. Is it still going steady? Big mamba. Big mamba. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Whoa! Another Man! Big bass. Good Come on! Oh, did it get wrapped up? I think it got wrapped up on the reel. Got him. Decent? He, uh, it was like a bass, believe it or not. Really? Man, he was sending it. Full send. What? What? How did you do that? <laughs> I kidding? wonder if a bike was like holding on to him. Look for teeth marks. Anything? Yeah. Little, little. Oh, there might be. Oh. Were you getting chased? Were you? Did a pike like hit him? I There's wonder. There's no way he could have ran. He that was. Fast. That was absolute yeah. power. I mean, that reel was basically. I wonder if a pike had him. Because he, he was. That was flying. That reel was almost flying. Saw sparks off my non-grease reel, yeah. which yeah. I definitely. Oh, I can't 
I can only imagine what this might be. Small pike. Small pike. I think it will start with a P, whatever yeah. it is. <laughs> a pavass. When he gets quiet, I think it's a decent fish, right? Yeah, he does. Means. He never walks us through Cut it. Out. He leaves us guessing. What? You, oh, you're stuck right on, on the ice? Give it a yak this way. It's a oh, pike! Nice. Oh, nice. Get her up here! Beauty! Hey, hey! Good one, Christopher. Nice one, dude. Nice. Sweet. <laughs> All right, guys. So there's a little snow squall kind of moving through. It's what, 1230? Is that what we have for Probably. time? Yep. And Chris and I are getting ready to head out two days in a row fishing with Joe. It's been a blast. Yesterday, I hit my personal best bass through the ice, almost six pounds. That was so exciting. Yesterday, I also hit my PB pike, which was what? 11.4. Uh, 11.4, good found memory. Out today, his PB pike is 11.5, yeah. which is really interesting. So it's getting heated. We'll definitely yeah. uh, be doing this more next year. This is not the end of this. It's yep. gonna get fierce yep. for fishing for adventure. I'm just gonna let you know I'm a little bit nervous. She's been slaying oh. me lately this year. You should be. And she's right on my tail. <laughs> Definitely should be. <laughs> no, but it has been an absolute blast and we are so thrilled that we were able to make this happen. More adventures like this to come. So if you're into this kind of stuff, then stay tuned because we've got some fun times ahead. Yes. Guys, if you came here from my channel to watch this one, please consider subscribing to their channel. It's an awesome channel. I can tell you they're grinders. They work hard. They work just as hard as I am or not if not even more and they love doing this so just consider hitting that subscribe or anytime you like a channel or like a video or, or make a comment it really helps out always but, helps we yeah, appreciate it, helps it. These guys a lot so just consider that if you get a chance yeah make sure you go check out joe holland fishing on youtube he's got some good stuff over there it's a lot of fun yeah. over there too yeah. and hopefully i have some guest stars like these guys on there a lot more <laughs> in the future yep yeah. so keep fishing guys and we will see you next time